Hey, Collective, just briefly, thanks for tuning in and listening to my rants and everything else and my little stuff I've been uploading on uh, my channel. Um, you know, um, yeah, where, where I'm temporary at, the people are crooks. Even the, um, there's this guy, I'm not going to give you too much information. There's this guy who works for this property management. And I honestly believe he's one of them who had tempered my car. And he works at a, at a fast food joint. And then he was picking out the window when I was, because it, sh- it was a shadow. And I looked, and he kind of moved out the way. And, you know, he's very guilty. And I honestly believe, you know, I don't know, I don't know, what, I don't know what really to believe, but, um, you know, they smoke their, their shit every evening, every early morning, whatever. But he's part of, you know, the Flying Monkeys. So I just want to put that out there because I do know, and I'm watching, you know, they say watch your surroundings and everything. So um, it's a beautiful day this afternoon, getting me some sun, some vitamin D, get my skin in order. So I'm breaking out. Well, I already know what it is. It's, you know, the foods that I'm eating or not eating <laughs> in my environment and um, the soaps and shit like that. Yeah, hopefully soon. Shit, I need to get away. Well, I am anyway in a few days. So, you know, I've got to wait on something right now, you know. And thank you for those who had, uh, who have helped me out. And, um... In this dying time, <laughs> or trying time, you know, because sometimes, you know, we go through things and, you know, that's out of our control. And, you know, for me, I'm being blocked. And I know it's an app and whoever's on my phone, but um, I could I could call the, uh, the app-based company and have them reset it. But at, right at this point, because my brakes are out, well, my left side of my brake... It's metal to metal to my rotor. If I drive any more, because this makes a loud noise. And if I drive any more, it'll ruin it. And then my right side of my brake is low. Yeah, I got my, my stuff done in my engine, my alternator, you know, then the water pump, of course, you know. Um, some wires reattached, whatever it was. And so I'm good to go on that part. Now it's the brakes, you know. It's like one thing after another. They're trying to hinder me anyway. I mean, it needed to be done. But the most greater part was when somebody came into my car and fucked with my shit. Because they're trying to hinder me. And they're mad. All of them, what they're upset for, they're mad for. You know, it's like, my biggest mistake, I've never experienced this unless it was there before where I lived in Rancho Cordova. But I was in a house, so I wasn't surrounded with a lot of hoodlums and, you know, gang members and thugs and prostitution and drug addicts, you know. It was a different type of community that neighborhood watch. It was very clean, everything else. And um, until I moved to North Highlands, that I took notice, really, you know, because if it was happening before, I really didn't see it because it was so minute, except for the CPS part where they were fucking with my life and my children and convincing them to be in the system, you know, whatever, what you know, whatever, and they're acting up, because they were told to do that shit. They're influenced by my family, and I know it. So, um, you know, all this gang stalking, harassment, and, um, you know, stealing my identification, social security card, my son's birth certificate, my, um, uh, what else, my, um, my traffic documents, you know, I got pulled over or whatever, and I was fighting that case. And, you know, my my parents' picture, you know, someone was, re- was put back in my place, but in a different location. You know, playing these games, um, stealing my shit, going through my photo albums, taking my stuff and re-putting them back. And, you know, all my personal shit. And, and I know my family's behind it, and they're going to go to prison. And I'm not going to share no that in one tear. But I don't know what the fuck is their problem and the community's problem. But I do know from what I've observed, you know, like I said, three people got killed and there's no investigation. People who knew the person got killed, 
these people got killed, didn't say a word. And for them harassing me and have the neighbors harass me. And um and I was just informed, but I can't say too much because I'll give it away. But um, you know, how I knew they were on my phone, because I said some things, I was doing a video and they repeated it. So um they're gonna get there, they're gonna be nice and comfortable with their job or their business, and they're gonna lose it all. I bet it will become running to me. I ain't gonna help nobody. You know what I'm saying? You know, how dare you um you know, cross me. But from being in those highlands, that place really had got me, you know, I've never I mean, it's like you know, I, I came to the point I was in those highlands, you know, you can't even clean up. You can't even relax in your own home, so to speak. You know, they're always harassing me, the old unstable ass neighbor who I got a restraining order against. And I, and I know she was the one who was in my car, too. You know, that's her MO, because they're part, she's part of my family. She She's not part of like relations, but she's in cahoots with them and the property manager. And I don't know who the fuck he is, because he's giving instructions to these people, like, leave her alone, you know, give her her spade, don't do this, don't do that. He's instructing them, and he is a mason. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. On his profile, they call him Master, Master, whatever his name is. Master such and such, Master such and such. So that tells you right there for those who are so ignorant. And like I said, you know, these people are getting paid at the table. And, you know, and they're so dedicated to him and my family. And number, number two has to be my inheritance. And I'm, I want to say so much, but I can't because I already knew. I mean, when my mom's passing, prior to her passing, even the hospital was telling me, you know, to have her stay with me. But my mom didn't want to stay with me. You know, I'm in the ghetto, so she didn't want to stay with me. And she didn't want to go to a rehab place, a convalescent, because she had sepsis. And I believe they were trying to kill her then because her water was fucking whatever. She was, you know, it's a lot of stuff. But looking at the chain of events from the funeral home to the um, burial site, who who worked there, the employees that worked there, and it was a connection of North Highlands. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so much stuff. And then I had my downloads of my dreams, and I already acknowledged my mom was already gone in my dream. You know, that's you know that's how gifted I am. And I asked her some questions, and she was telling me I didn't see her face, but it was just her voice, and you know, just just showing me. And she told me don't say certain things to certain people because they were involved. But of course, the first time when she told me, well, I didn't know it was her that passed away. And there was two people at the side glass door, and I thought it was for me because they'd been harassing me so damn bad. But now it comes together because, you know, my you know my relative, you know, well, whatever, they're hacking my home phone, forwarding my call to a, to a, some kind of cell phone number, and it was my family member's friend in North Highlands. And see, I didn't know all this until they started talking. You know, they started saying certain shit, and I'm just like, what? You know. But overall, they got my children involved in it, and my children don't say shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know. I don't know what to think anymore because they convinced my children in one thing, some of these rumors and lies. But instead of my kids coming to me and say, "Mom, they said this about you. They said that about you. You know, blah blah blah." You know, I'm I'm the one who birthed these children. If it wasn't for me, they wouldn't even be here. Yeah, they're here now. But it wasn't for me, they wouldn't be here. And then to betray me in that aspect over some motherfucking money, because they were clout chasing and throwing money, that was my money, in my opinion, because my grandfather, and I strongly believe, because it's been heavy on my heart for years, left me an inheritance. And I don't give a fuck what nobody say. You know, and that will was forged, and I'm going to... Uh, hmm. But anyways, you know, all the people were against me because of what? Because of my strength? Is it because of my knowledge? Is it because I'm fighting back? See, what happened was, I noticed when my children were doing a forex exchange, that forex exchange was the guy who, the, the attorney or whatever, he's a property investor, who was hacking my shit. And then all of a sudden, I'm getting all these requests for, for forex and going to this church and shit like that in Elk Grove, California. And I'm like, what? Like, how to get my phone number? You know what I'm saying? 
And um, so they convince them that way. Hey, brother. Hey, sister. Blah, blah, blah. They fall for it. And they say, okay, I want you to do a job. You know, your your mother is probably is under investigation with the FBI. And we're trying to da 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 And then when they throw them some money, and knowing that, that they're struggling, oh, of course they'll take it. But instead of them telling me, okay, mom, this is what's going on. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. Or they don't have to say anything. They can just write it down on a piece of paper. Mama, this is da, 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 da. But they're so chicken shit. They don't want to tell me shit. I already know already. So I don't say shit. But the overall thing is that when I moved to Long Island, they betrayed me. But even before then, I felt they betrayed me before because of the CPS bullshit that was involved in my life unnecessarily. Turns out that social worker, which I sued her, it didn't really go nowhere because they tried to block me. That social worker is a friend to my family member's friend. Oh, I did my homework and research. It is going down. You know what I'm saying? And that's part of, part of the reason why they're working hard and spreading rumors and lies. And it's all connected. I already compiled a lot of stuff. And, and like I said, uh, most recently, that property manager, and I no longer live in that area, instructed those people to leave me alone. Talk about leave her alone, give her her space, don't do this, don't do that. Because, see, they're so dedicated to him because he's been supplying them their money. Their money, their drugs, their their bullshit under the table. You know what I'm saying? So, so, uh, so basically, while said and done, you know, that's what it is. And they got that shit on my car. And I know they do. Because how they know where I'm at? Unless somebody told them. You know what I'm saying? And all the hostility and the, 